Hey guys, Alex Sutherland here, and today I wanted to make a quick video uh, going over some of the updates to Simple GTO Trainer and answering some of the questions I've been frequently about how to uh, configure tables with the new layout, what the difference between play versus train mode is, and then how to set up full pre-flop and to flop uh, custom games so that you can play out an entire hand. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to do is show how to do the custom games using both the preflop and the postflop uh, components. And to do this, you'll need to have the uh, pro version unlocked. So you'll need GTO Trainer Pro. And then you'll need to have uh, postflop and preflop solutions, either from PO or SPF. And I'm assuming you've already followed one of my previous uh, tutorials and made sure to set up your uh, either simple postflop or PO solver path. Um, as I have here, and you can definitely check out on my YouTube channel for how to do that if you haven't seen it before. So assuming all that's set up, let's look at how we set up a custom game. We we'll go to our custom games tab here and click add. I'm going to go regular training because we're trying to play out an entire hand. Drill game is when you want to practice the same situation over and over, so just like c-betting the flop over and over. Regular training is for when you play, want to play through an entire hand, post-flop and pre-flop. Um, so I'm going to give this a name, and then I'm going to go ahead and I can choose here if I want to just practice from my piece perspective. If I want to play both sides. I'll leave it as both sides. I'm going to check open preflop files. I'm going to leave this unchecked because I don't just want to play the preflop section. And then I'm going to use the new show and big blind feature that'll make all the bet sizes be in big blinds, which is nice if your solution doesn't uh, use big blinds as the default unit to start with. And then I'm going to go ahead and configure the seats. So this will be based on my solution. The solution I'm going to show here is a button versus big blind solution, where button's player one, big blind is player two. And it's, uh, it's actually a nine max spot, because this is an MTT spot. There we go. Okay, so now I click Save. And I can go to the next screen. And here's where I'll need to select my solution files. So if you're using simple post flop to generate these solutions, you'd want to go to your uh, heads up preflop tab and you'd save the preflop solution to a folder where you want it. So mine is called 20bbmtt.bin. And then for the flop runouts, the post flop solutions, you would need to either compute those solutions yourself or you can go to the row in the SPF uh, pack that you are using. So this is the solution is from the uh, cash game pack, and you click download flops. And then that would put them all in a zip folder on your hard drive that you can extract and then reference. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and add and select my uh, preflop solution, the .bin file here. And then the flop runouts for that solution I downloaded, and they're here. And I want to select the folder that's named preflop if I'm downloading one of the pre-computed ones from Temple Postflop. And so once I click Select Folder, these two are now set, and I can click Save. And if I click on this and click Train, we will see that I have the uh, whole table set up here. I am in the button. Here's the big blind. The 9 max layout looks a little better if you make it big. And I can you know, choose between my sizings here, whether I shove this or min raise it. I think a shove is the highest EV, but it looks like GTO mixes here. And he folds. Let's get one where I can actually play both sides of it. So you fold that one. I can defend my king seven. And as you can see, the play just continues on the post flop and I'll keep playing out the hand until I make a mistake. <coughs> So once I make a mistake, then it tells me I made an error. This is a small error, but GTO is to go ahead and raise this. So that is setting up a preflop configuration using SPF. The flow is slightly different if you're using PO, but basically the same idea. Now, the next thing I wanted to show is how some of the new functionality around the training packs works. So first off, there's a fair number more training packs. People have been releasing them. So we have a GTO MTT pack, Via, Heads Up Cash Pack, Spin and Go Pack, 3-Bet Cash Pack by me, and the Core GTO Pack by me. 
So let me go ahead and look at this one and go to a regular game. And before there used to just be two options or just one option, there was train. Now there's two, there's play versus train. And these are very similar, but uh, slight differences. So I wanted to show what those are. So let's go ahead and play uh, cutoff versus big blind versus a big blind you see that's small. And when I click play, uh, so train is exactly the same as the old mode used to be. But when I click play, there's some new functionality. <clears throat> And basically the new idea is that you can now play out situations <coughs> where you take a non-GTO action and the server will still be able to play out the rest of the hand even though you made a GTO mistake. And then as a result, at the end of that, you'll be able to see some interesting stats that weren't there before, like your red line and your blue line. So I'm gonna go ahead and flat this which is you know, the most commonly chosen GTO action. And I'll go ahead and check this. And then something I know GTO probably never does here is GTO would never check, would always value that here. So I'm gonna go ahead and check just so we can see what a mistake looks like. In the uh, train mode, as soon as I make a mistake, it just stops and it'll just say I made a mistake. In the uh, in this mode, it'll show me that I lost 2.6 in EV, but I won 15.45 chips at showdown. Whereas if I had bet this and followed GTO play, my opponent probably would have folded eights. So I would have had, uh, you know, not had this EV loss, and I would have had a higher showdown winning. And what's neat about this is now with this new mode, if you go to the session summary screen, it'll show you your blue line and your red line uh, and your EV winnings, so you can see your showdown winnings, your non-showdown winnings, and exactly how your winnings are uh, related by those two categories. And you can get a sense of, are you kind of a red line player or a blue line player? Are you not being aggressive enough on the river, for example? So here I would have inflated my red line or my blue line winnings at the cost of my red line winnings by mixing, by making a, a pretty sizable mistake here of 2.5 BDs by not betting the river for value. So, not a major change, basically the same, but this gives you a little bit more reporting. And I usually have been using the software in play mode rather than train mode now. Um, it's nice to play out the rest of the hand after you make a mistake and to, to get this blue and red line information. So I think this is a, a small but nice upgrade. Just checking my notes. I think those were the key topics I wanted to cover. So we have the BB display, the table layout, being able to play from pre-flop to post-flop and play versus train, and then all these new packs. So hopefully this answers uh, some questions. I'm getting a fair number of emails about how various things work, and I figured the best solution was to make a video that kind of explained it all, so it's there for everyone to watch and enjoy at their leisure. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments down below. I am always happy to pass any feedback about GTO Trainer on to the simple post-flop guys. They're really responsive to adding new features and developing based on community feedback. So definitely help us make the program better. Thanks for watching guys.